I don't really like budget keyboards, so when Banggood reached out to me saying that they wanted to send me an Arcade 61 for review, I didn't have high hopes for it at all. So in today's video, I wanted to tell you my perspective on the RK61, especially as someone who is really into mechanical keyboards and understands the hobby. But first, as always, a sound test. This is the RK61 stock with Outemu red switches. Alright, so first up, you can see that the sound of this keyboard isn't bad, and for $50, I would say that this board is currently exceeding my expectations. But as you might have heard before the sound test, this keyboard uses Outemu switches. Now I've never really experienced Outemu until I received this from Banggood, but for context, Outemu is considered as some of the lowest of the low quality switches. But honestly, I didn't really notice that here, and these felt better than my Gatoron Reds with considerably less spring ping, but the sound did seem dampened. Now I don't want to judge on the switches too much as this keyboard comes with blue and brown switches as options, but for the red switch option, I quite enjoy typing on it and I don't think Aotemu is as bad as it's made out to be. Now moving on to the stabs, and when I took apart this keyboard, I could tell that they were lubed. Now I don't know what lube was used as the product page on Banggood does not specify and they don't even say that the switches are Outemu, and I had to look at the switches itself for that. The stabs however don't sound half bad, and I'll do a stabilizer sound test right now so you can hear it. So something that's recurring in this keyboard is that it sounds muted or dampened. Inside the case, however, there's no foam material and it's just a simple plastic case. It also flexes pretty easily. There's a battery in the top right corner which could explain some noise difference, but that really shouldn't change much. After all, it's a pretty simple keyboard. One more thing related to the case and the PCB is the RGB, which is not bad, and while I didn't find the time to play around with the settings, I don't really care too much about RGB on keyboards, so the most I can tell you is that it's bright and decent. Moving on to the keycaps which seem to be ABS plastic, which is just a standard at the $50 price point. However, they don't feel as bad as the ABS keycaps that I got with my HK Gaming GK61, which were glossy and weird feeling. The ones in the RK61 are pretty smooth and feel fine, and I haven't seen any shine in the time that I've been using this keyboard. Now one thing that I did not like is the fact that the USB-C port on this keyboard is off-center. It's not the biggest deal, but it's just one of those annoying things that RK could have paid more attention to, and even at $50, I think the type of error is unacceptable. Another criticism I had with this board is how flimsy the battery wire is. When I dismantled the case to see what was on the PCB, I had to remove the wire connecting the battery to the PCB, and it just snapped off when I barely used any force. It makes the board feel like a no-go to modders who want to keep the Bluetooth functionality. However, the keyboard is still usable without the wire, since the battery is only for the Bluetooth. I don't use Bluetooth at all, so I didn't really care, but it could still be a turnaway point for people who are buying this board for that function. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about my personal opinion on this keyboard, and whether I think it's worth $50 and if I'd recommend it to others. No matter how much I criticize this board, it isn't bad at all. I can use this thing for long periods of time and during gaming without wanting to switch, and I think it's just fine for that. I've been using this as a game and type for the past week, and I've honestly enjoyed using it over tactiles or bad linears. I like the sound and feel, and even though it feels dampened, it's not that big of a deal to me. Overall, I think this board is perfectly priced at $50. 
it does exactly what it needs to and I honestly would say that it could even be more expensive based on the quality but the price because of the issues is great I would highly recommend this to anyone looking for an entry-level mech or someone that just needs something simple to type on Thank you guys so much for watching and a big shout out to Banggood for sending me this keyboard for review. Let me know what video you'd like next down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!